So the first air traffic controller, the father air traffic control, is GJH Jeffs, Jimmy Jeffs, who was commonly known. He started working in Croydon on the 22nd of February 1922. It was really, really important with the innovation of air traffic control. He did much to actually put in place the systems that we have for air traffic controllers today. He worked very hard in developing new systems and new methods uh, and was recognised very much by the Air Ministry as a key figure in the oversight of air traffic control. So going forward as his career progressed, he opened up uh, many new airfields, he commissioned them, he'd go to the new airfield, uh, check out all the systems were fully operational, check out the radio communications, the facilities that they're all working. Also, when they looked at starting to train air traffic controllers, the Air Ministry came to Jimmy in 1937 to set up the air traffic control training school and set up the syllabus for that. Going forward into the Second World War, he was much decorated, uh, CVO, MBE, uh, US Legion of Merit. And when the Air Ministry looked at actually certificating air traffic controllers, Jimmy Jeffs was issued with air traffic control license number one, which is what we have here. So dated 22nd of February 1922, license number one, when Jimmy started working here. Jimmy had a very long career in air traffic control. Uh, after the Second World War, he went on to work as Commandant of Presswick, uh, and then later Heathrow, before he later retired from air traffic control, but still had uh, important positions on boards of many aviation-related organisations. 